right, so I'm going to make this uh, muzzle, geez, I'm going to make the gauze muzzle without facing the dog. So if the dog's ever had them on before, sometimes they'll start to react and it'll be hard for the restrainer to hold the dog if they're watching you make the, the gauze muzzle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the gauze and we're going to do two wingspans. <clears throat> and you can do more if the dog is bigger. So one, two, and just add a little more. And these rip pretty easily. And I take my gauze and I double it up. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot in the middle. And that acts as my weight. Crisscross and start another knot. And that, you're going to adjust this loop to the dog's muzzle. So if this dog was a bull mastiff, we would do a much larger loop. If it was a chihuahua, we would do a much smaller loop with that knot being on the bottom to act as a weight. Now this is all going to be one motion, turn, pull, and then secure your, your gauze muzzle. Now remember, this is for that dog that's trying to actively bite you, so you want to do it fast. And for the video, I'm just going to do it slow so you can see exactly how to secure this on the dog. Okay. So the first thing I need to do before I start is to ask my partner if, if he is ready. Are you ready? No. Then get ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Ready. So he's presenting the dog's nose to me. So I would turn like this, put it on, crank down. And when you do this in practice, I'm sure you're going to really crank down on this. Remember, this is a big dog or a small dog that's trying to bite your hands. As it's secure here, now I'm going to go under the muzzle, crisscross the pieces, and then I'm going to come around. Now remember, TJ is just going to move the hands as needed. And I'm going away from him. I'm going to get out of his space. Okay. And now I'm just going to tie this like I would tie my tennis shoes. And you have to make sure it's pretty secure. Okay. This piece up here needs to be really tight. And so does this. Okay. You have to be careful with these beagles too because if you tie it way back here and they get all that skin crunched up, if they can get their paw up and pull that off, you're in big trouble. Okay. Again, we're just going to make our little bunny ears and tie that. And TJ will go back to the regular restraint and we're going to check here to make sure it's nice and snug okay? and then we're going to check back here to make sure it's nice and tight. For removal, it's basically just a backwards job here. The first thing I need to do is ask my partner if they're ready. Remember, I'm going to walk away once this muzzle's off and he's going to be left dealing with a dog that's somewhat aggressive. So are you ready? Okay, right. back to the original position, and I'm going to start to untie here and try to get as much as I can done, which means I need to go over, flip that over, and now I'm just going to walk away. And the straighter you are, the better um, for these dogs. So I'm just going to walk and pull. And TJ goes back to the regular restraint on, of sternal.